Okay, welcome back to our lesson number seven. This is part number part two. Uh, I'm going to continue with examples. So watch this out. Okay, so slide number two of our PowerPoint for this conditional formatting samples is creating a dynamic record highlight. So we're going to use data validation uh, so that category can be set your record okay so what we're going to do so just simply like this uh, we need a cell wherein we're going to have a data validation what is data validation uh, as you can see here you have seen this in some of the website or some of the files there's a drop down button when you click this you're gonna you, you have choices what are these choices that we set up here it's actually the different categories beverages chocolates condiments grains milk pasta poultry and tea so an example only here that he chose T, then uh, the T categories have been highlighted, okay? Now if you choose another one, then dynamically, meaning is going to change. Unlike in our previous example, it's uh, fixed, okay? It is fixed that we already set up as the rule to, uh, to, to look for T. Okay, but in this one, uh, Excel will look for whatever is in this category, okay, or this cell. We're going to set that up on our example file. Let's go, uh, go back to our Excel. So here, this is actually what we are, we want to have. We, have, we want to have a data validation here of different categories, a drop-down menu, okay, so that when we choose, then your excel will highlight it okay now there are two parts in here is the first part is to make this data validation okay and then the second part is setting up your conditional formatting now for data validation it's in our data tab okay and you can see here uh -huh. okay here this is the button in the data tools, data validation. Okay, now before we set up this uh, data validation here, we need a list of category. True enough, you have a list of category here, but as you can see, we cannot use this because it's repeating. It's just a waste of time. So what we have to do is to copy Okay, I'm copying this, all of this, and then set it in, uh, setting it up here. So paste. Okay, so what, are we, what am I going to do with this? This is the one that I'm going to set up to have a list of unique category. What do you mean by unique? There's no repetition. So unlike this, there is pasta, pasta, condiments, and so on. So I'm going to remove the duplicates, by the way, in the same tab, data, data tools, and remove duplicates. As simple as that. You have it here in the data tools. Select all, press OK, and that's it. As you can see, seven duplicate values found and removed. Eight unique values remain. There are eight categories, okay? that you can see here. Now we can arrange this alphabetically. Uh, you know this already, go to home and then sort, sort A to Z, okay? So now it is sorted. So as simple as that, copy, put it in another place. Now this is our list, okay, of categories that are unique coming from here, okay? Now we're gonna do the data validation. You go to this, which is C1, okay? So this is what where we want to place it. It's not always here. So remember, this is just an example, so I can put it anywhere, but this is just an example that is, I want to put it at C1. You can put it at A1, B1, wherever you want, okay? Now, how do we do this? Again, data, click now the data validation, okay? Okay, now in data validation, we have different criteria. We can allow, okay, 
allow any value whole number decimal list date time text length and custom what are this what do you mean by validation validation means that we can filter whatever the user wants to input here now if i choose the default any value then the cell will accept any value but since we are going to um, create a data validation that means we have to filter and the filter that we want is a list now as you can see here there's a text length remember this we uh, sometimes when you are um, writing a form there are like limited length of text let's say only 10 uh, 10 characters is maximum then you can set it up like that allow only 10 characters something like this and the less uh, the others are available here so you can try to figure this out in your own time but this is not our coverage we're just going to go with the list so click the list now when you click list you can see here there is a default ignore blank and then click in cell drop down that's the drop down button that you've seen in our powerpoint now this is where you're gonna have the list which where where do you going to get this it's now the one that you prepared here so you just need to select them okay so that excel will know the range of the list that you have taken for the data val validation meaning you're just going to allow in that column okay and you're gonna have a drop down button in cell drop down button we're in the different categories will be here okay that's the first part now the second part is just like the previous example but with a little more um uh moderation okay so i'm going to highlight again uh without the headache now it's gonna be starting from a4 until f e18 only now no f now okay so let's go to home tab and then conditional formatting new rule and then use a formula to determine which cells to format format first uh, let me see yellow press ok and then now equal to what are we going to challenge or where are we going to uh, apply the question or the condition we're gonna start with the first row from the category which is now e4 so we're starting at e4 and now where are you going to compare this equal to before we set it up like the t only okay it's fixed but now it's not going to be the same we're going to compare it to whatever value this will have later on okay remember this is where we set up the, the data validation whatever value you're going to put here or you're going to select here <clears throat> that's the value he's going to compare your cells e4 until e18 okay and then he's going to highlight that but remember this is dollar e we have to remove the dollar sign four but here is it equal to dollar c dollar one yes it should always be dollar c dollar one because why because if you remove the dollar sign then he will change either the column or the row so what does it mean we don't want that because we always want to compare e4 first to c1 and then once excel is finished with e4 he will go to e5 but still we want to compare e5 with c1 okay and so on and so forth we always compare the value here wherever you put that data validation that's where you're going to uh, address here okay so remember that press ok and see there's no highlight yet why because we haven't chose anything yet here that's the time we're going to choose so let's see are you ready beverages bam okay so it's highlighted can we change yes that's why we call it dynamic change to chocolates now he's highlighting chocolates 
Okay? So that's it. Okay, so that's the end of the second part of the video. So I'm going to stop here and I'll watch. Uh, I want you to watch out for the next video. And again, see you.